Hello everybody, Swift here again with another meme mayhem run, the roguelike auto butler with the meme theme, and today I'm gonna be doing a run with my good old boy, the filthy priest, the first character I think I won with, I'm not really sure about that though, this guy has a lot of things going for him, ice, vampire brain, freeze, he just does a bunch of things and then also random thing with a ninja. Now today I'm gonna try to maybe, maybe do a healing build with milk so that would be a milk build so to speak and uh, he also does some trash talking maybe that's his unique thing so uh the milk here here every 10 milk hit permanently increase your health region by one this is the build that's what we're gonna do as much health region as possibly possible uh did that bug out no it didn't Okay, I have that once. So I'm going to try to do a milk build and try to build up health region is my idea here. And then get things related to whenever you heal XYZ happens here. I'm about to get my first region. Boom, got one region. Let's go. That's going to carry us, of course. Of course, of course, it's most likely not. And uh, yeah, by the way, if you've been watching this series, I'm thinking about doing modded runs from tomorrow. So or for the next time I'm going to run. So watch out for that. Mods are awesome in this game. And also the events are awesome. So we're going to do modded runs and events. And we're going to be coming back to the main game whenever it patches or whenever you want to. Anyway, so energy, income or max health. Also, I was thinking about live streaming. Income is going to give us 280 coins. That's about two perks. If I get this right now, I'm going to get two perks throughout the game or two relics or two anything. Um, also maybe 101 thing here, or 300 max health or energy, I mean energy is uh, not really something I would like to go with, health is something I do enjoy, let's go health, forget income as an idea, I mean it's as if I just bought, um, it's as if I just bought health anyway, uh, nice, we're gonna get two region here, of course the most important thing to get right now would be as many milks as possible, that's very important, so I can get more and more lactose tolerance, not intolerance, tolerance, very nice, here we go, milks, shoot flexes, 50 max health after 15 enemy, or 250 health on ultimate. We're gonna be ultimating once or twice, we're gonna definitely get the 50 max health after each enemy. This is about 1,400 health, 1,300 health. I'm seeing the milks give you flexes, but getting max life here forever is pretty important, especially this early in the game. For max life for armor, definitely for armor, we want to go anti-burst. The health does not help you if the opponents do 100 damage per hit. Although 4 armor is also not going to help you if opponents do damage per hit. But the longer these fights last, the better. And the slower I'm getting the opponent down, the better. Because we're getting more and more healing here. My health region is at 3 already. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> Jokes aside, we're very weak. Max life gives you strength, energy gain, or crit chance. I don't think you can crit with healing. Uh, max health gives you strength, is nice for damage, and I think that's what I should get. Both of these are damage, actually. This is going to be a 26% damage boost through the 26% crit chance. This is going to be about 10 strength at the end of the game, which is a 50% damage boost based on how you look at it. Uh, so I think this is more, as I am only have 3D strength right now. Uh, but I would like to go crits, specifically because of the fact that crits combo into other things that have to deal with crits. And also I have 18 luck, so that crit chance is more than what it actually says it is. And also I can get strength in a bunch of ways, crit chance is not really that easy to gain. I have flex, so for example I'm gaining strength slowly through the flex. 5 health regen in 5th fight, so insanely busted this thing we started with. Healing gives you trash talk, crits gives you vampires. You see, I already found a crit related passive. Healing gives you trash talks is nice, but not really. I would say crits give you vampires instead of just a vampire. And this is gonna pay out in the long run as the deeper I go into crits. Five ninja points closing in for ninjas. I would say we just go with two vampires. Although I could just get the 700 health here and three vulnerable, but I think we're just gonna get the vampires and be done with that. Two vampires should be allowing us to heal a bunch. Now the healing, really, the health region is only based on lactose tolerance. Uh, this fight lasts a while most of the time, as far as I know. I don't think I had the chance to get those relics. Uh, this fight should really not be able to beat us with three vampires and the healing we're doing to ourselves. We should be good to go. He literally has no scale. No, he does have scaling. Yeah, he does have scaling. Which is pretty dangerous and bad, but it's okay. We also are getting more max life, so this fight's really, really helping us. Very nice. More max life, more crit chance. Uh, we're gonna go, of course not, I don't really care about his thing. Give us two milks, that would be the best case scenario here, because I think that is a relic. Let's go, literally ask for it and receive. And just like that, we're gonna now start building up our health region with a crazy milk build. Crit chance higher, we're gonna definitely take that, especially now that we have crits give us vampires. Uh, although I don't have attacks that can actually crit, to be honest, it's mainly a rock and whatever we're stealing with the um, thief. 
The ninja, the ninja steals one of the opponents, by the way, in case you don't know. And the vampire gives us max life, milk heals us 20, brain steals uh, energy away. I'm just um, expressing for people that don't know. Ice uh, makes the opponent's attack slower, flex makes us have more damage. Ultimate, do 250 healing, or brain burns 10 more energy. Ultimate's healed for 250, sounds nice, although I'm not really an ultimate healing build. Um, what are the opponents, actually? Wait a minute, what are the bosses, what I meant to say? These bosses, I would say Brains Burn 10 more, and now let's go with I Heal whenever I ulti. That's a purple one, and I mean, I will be ulting anyway, so healing 250 here and there is gonna be important. I mean, I literally picked a 300 max health choice as the first choice, so getting 250 twice per fight is just straight up better. And we are a long con build anyway. I should get for some health region, by the way, I uh, energy region, so I can get more ultis out. So let's see how that's gonna go. Trash talks and do increasingly damage or attack speed. Uh, I don't really want to do trash talk build right now. Let's go ultimates give us attack speed so I can heal more, flex more, vampire more and everything else more. Two thorns and two armor, five thorns or five dodge but gain vulnerable. Uh, I'm gonna say two thorns, two armor. Although getting more thorns in general is better because there are relics that care about you having thorns, but I do prefer armor right now. And we are healing. I do enjoy that we're healing with the milks. I would really enjoy getting one more milk though. That's pretty important to me. And the fact that I have flexes and vampires makes all of these fights be better. The, the slower all of these fights are, the better. Uh, vampires are gonna make us permanently gain max health and flex is gonna make us in the fight in itself to be powerful. Uh, I would say 4 armor is better than these choices. 5 dodge is also really good, but I'm gonna actually go the armor out, safe and sound. Also, there are things that come with armor anyway, so might as well go this one. And uh, we're still continually shooting ourselves with the thing. Every time I ulti gain attack speed, which means I shoot out more milks and more vampires. And I really want the opponents to survive here. I'm not really doing anything, honestly. I'm just shooting out a rock and whatever we steal from the opponent. Let's see what we can get here. Strength heals us. So that's actually another scaling aspect. I'm gonna take that. I have a flex, therefore I'm scaling strength, therefore I'm scaling healing. We found a, a milk. I'm gonna definitely buy, no uh, questions asked. And I would say we get 120 coins if I find the legendary. This most of the time pays off. <clears throat> most of the time I will find some kind of legendary. Now this guy here does permanent damage all the time. So uh, we might have an issue here because he's now gonna start doing this permanent damage. And uh, let's see if I can tank this 333. He's gonna ulti again. No, he just is gonna do forever 333 to us. Are we gonna be able to tank that? He doesn't do anything else. He just does these 3333s. I am scaling though. I am gaining more strength. I am gaining more attack speed. So I am healing more. I am gaining vampires. Uh, every ulti I do, I get a bit more attack speed and I heal another 250. I think we won here. This fight was really good for us. We got a lot of health regen, we got a lot of healing out of that, and also health, everything else we get every turn. Very nice. 25% attack speed is really good for us. 4% dodge and you can dodge ultis. Now we're gonna go 25% attack speed, more healing, more vampires, more everything. And we continue getting text. I think, I thought we were done with texts. That's actually good, that's actually good. I do enjoy the slow and steady idea. I really do. Uh, rocks do a bit more damage. Ice also applies heal enhancement. Heal enhancement, I have an ice. So this is three more heal enhancement with the one ice I have. And guess what heal enhancement gives us? Healing on vampire, healing on vampire, healing on vampire, and healing on my four milks. So I think this is definitely worth it for us with the slow blade build once again. And I do shoot out three icy cubes, so I should have three to four heal enhancements somewhere between that, which makes my milks heal three to four more. Which, I mean, if you think about the fact that we heal 20, that's about a 25% healing boost. If you think about it, which is very nice. And we continue getting crits and max life and everything's just going dandy. Uh, we're gonna go with 7% attack speed and 7% luck in my opinion. More attack speed means more healing and more flexing and more vampiring and more everything. Luck is a bit irrelevant, but it's gonna increase my crit chance. <clears throat> and we are critting the opponent as far as I'm seeing. So that's nice. Look at this, nobody can really touch us. To be honest, and we're getting more and more health regen, which is very nice. I've never done a real, real health regen build. I would like to be able to get like a hundred health regen. Actually, no, a hundred is definitely the thing I had. A thousand health regen would be awesome. Two ninja points, and uh, this is one, uh, I guess, two sevenths of a ninja. I don't care about ninja build dodge or healing enhancement. I would say healing enhancement, but let's actually roll for something better, honestly. Vampires poison the opponent. No, we're gonna just go with 10% attack speed. I don't want to poison the opponents. I want to slow play everything, which might bite us at the end. 3d3 health region for 222 max life. I would say definitely yes on this trade. Because 3d3 health region is a decent amount and 222 health is nothing for this build with so many vampires and so many everything. 
Okay, I think we're good to go. I really enjoy this idea. Now, opponents with flex are going to be an issue. Uh, which, I mean, none of these do have flex. Maybe the final boss has. Uh, maybe Putin, Putin might be an issue for us. Because he uh, scales how much damage you take, which is dangerous. But it's okay. Whoa! We got another lactose intolerance. This is insane that we found one. This is completely insane. And I also got 120 coins. But it's completely insane that we found a second one of these. Now we're going to get two regen every time we shoot out a milk. So I really would like to get more milks now. So I can scale my health regen to insane amounts. And the longer these fights last, as we said, the more we're going to be tanking anyway. So that's really nice. The more we're going to be scaling everything. Emergency ultimates or emergency attack speed. I would say emergency attack speed. Uh, although emergency ultimates gonna give us more ultimates therefore my attack speed but and actually just reroll here i prefer 10 percent attack speed in general instead of emergency oops 7 percent attack speed that's just straight up better 10 percent attack speed 7 luck like gives us crits crits give us vampires a vampire here steal 20 luck from the opponent money on purple found um i mean a vampire and steal 20 luck would be my choices but maybe reroll is the actual real choice here i do have money to buy things and if a legendary appears i can definitely buy it can I buy these three? If I can buy these three, then maybe yes. Let's see, this is 150 and this is another 85. I mean, let's say this is 90, 90 and 80, just to calculate faster. 180 and 80, 170, 270. Yeah, we should have enough for all of these. So let's buy 20% luck, a vampire and money whenever I buy something purple. Let's go. Uh, and also, if I find the boots, obviously I'm going to take it because the boots reduce your strength but give you attack speed. And attack speed is definitely what I want to be going with. Now, this guy has one flex. And his passive is that whenever he ulties, he gets 100 health regen but stops attacking. Which is really good for us because this fight is going to last a year. I have infinite healing anyway. He is scaling strength, but I'm also scaling strength, so that's irrelevant. Uh, I'm doing very low damage because I only have literally two rocks that he gave us. And um, yeah, this is really, 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 really good for us. Now, he has a lot of rocks, so that means his strength scaling is going to be an issue for us. But at the same time, I'm getting so much max life out of this. I'm getting so much health regen out of this. This is maybe the best possible fight that we could have asked for. This is completely insane and really, really, really helpful for us. Nice. And just like that, I got like an insane amount of health regen. 180 health regen. And we can get two vampires or 250 health and one max health regen percentage-based healing. I would say we go with the 1% percentage-based healing. Because right now it's 58 and it's just gonna help us with more and more. Two vampires are obviously gonna give us max health, but I want percentage-based healing. That's important, so we can increase my health region exponentially based on how much health I have. And milk is an instant take, no questions asked. And let's continue on with this. So I'm getting more and more lactose tolerant, more and more max health. Now, the more max health I get, the more 1% healing I'm gaining. Um, and uh, the more milk I shoot out, which I'm shooting 5 milks per second almost, so I'm getting like 2 lactose intolerant almost every second. I actually have more than once per second attack speed here, which is so good for us. And the ulti is giving us more attack speed, it's also nice. Yeah, I'm shooting almost 1.5 milk per second. Another milk, let's go. Instant take, no questions asked. This is the insane healing region build. I've never done this much healing, and I really love it. Now, there is a trait that says every 666 healing you get, you trash talk the opponent. Which, I mean, that could be our damage route. If I even need it, to be honest. If I even need a damage route. Because I'm not seeing opponents being able to pierce through 7,000 healing. I actually know what the healing route is gonna... The, um, not healing. I know what the, the, the route is gonna be. The damage rod's gonna be the Vampire King. Do we even fight the Vampire King? No, we don't. Okay, we skip the hard part. Let's go with another milk. Insane. Healing in Sanitato. We get a uh, minus six vulnerable, but also lose four armor at the same time. 3% ultimate damage or uh, gain strength. I mean, I don't enjoy any of these. I guess I'm gonna go with the 3% ultimate damage. I mean, my main damage is ultimates, but I don't want to be doing damage as the thing. I want to slow play literally everything. <clears throat> now the ultimates here are going to start doing some damage. But it's okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. We have 775 damage there. We could have gotten the very bottom one. What was the very bottom one? Why did not get the very bottom one? I don't know. Maybe because I wanted something. I don't know what the very bottom one is. I already forgot. Give me health region percentage. Nope. Trash talk on... No overclock. Ultimates give you trash talk. No emergency low life. Attack speed. No, no, no. Uh, 5% crit chance. Honestly, I would say no, but I definitely want to keep the rerolls because bosses, on boss fights, you will need to have rerolls. In case you lose, you need to be able to maybe 
re-roll a fight or something. Uh, I would say let's make opponents not really do that many ulties. Although crits shooting out vampires, I should have gone for the crits. What was I thinking? Crits shooting out vampires is what I should be focusing on. Anyway, we have 400 and something healing here. This is completely insane. I'm not even sure if opponents can even do that much damage. And now the next thing I would like to get is percentage base to heal when I get hit by an emoji. Didn't appear. Uh, ice gives us... We know that ice gives us health regen, so I'm gonna go ice. It gives us... Um, not health regen, whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. Ultimates give us health regen. First of all, we definitely want the milk. Definitely want the milk, no questions asked. And I would like to buy this, but I don't have the money. So uh, we just buy the milk and there's that. Uh, blue relics giving us 20 coins. is not gonna pay for itself in 10 fights. I'm not gonna find... I would say four blue relics, blue perks. Actually, I need to find five. Yeah, five blue perks in five fights, ten fights, and most likely not. I don't want to force myself in that. I haven't found a purple and a legendary either, by the way. I'm only getting whites this whole time. Maybe some blues. Okay, so this guy, whenever he crits, he makes us vulnerable. So we're going to start getting vulnerable. The more we get, the more damage we're going to be taking. Uh, it's almost the same as the previous fight, but he has a flex and the vulnerable thing. His crit chance is 16% because I took luck away, so I made him weaker by taking luck away. Now, of course, we're taking more damage, but that's very irrelevant. I'm also scaling damage myself. Every time I ulti, I also gain attack speed. So, at this point, I'm at 189%, and we won. Once again, we won. Easy enough. Now, it would be nice if I could have fought the Vampire King here in this fight, but we didn't find him, so it is what it is. We don't really have scaling. Let's see how the final boss is going to scale. Uh, of course not. We don't really care about crits. Make the opponents weaker. No, 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 no. I want to slow play as much as possible. Give me two more milks, please. Give me two more milks. And we found ultis can crit. Or, uh, no, we're gonna go ultis can crit. I'm a crit build anyway. Might as well go with 50% chance to crit with the ulti and just one-shot the opponent. And another milk. Let's go. So, theoretically, my ulti now doing about 700 damage. Should be doing about 1,400 on crit. So, let's see the 1,400 here. Boom, 1,487 very nice now of course once again we're gonna the fights are gonna go faster because of what i just did this guy's emergency ultis doesn't really matter to us he has healing i like that the opponents have healing if i didn't have the crits ulti thing then the healing on the opponent side would really help the fight last forever five five healing after defeating enemy this is eight times five this is 40 healing i'm gonna fight 40 healing and 120 coins of course so let's get 40 more regen right out there of course i'm, I'm getting about 3d region oh this guy also is surviving why does he have armor what does he have why is he not taking that much damage irrelevant i think the ulti scaling and the ulti critting is what's killing most opponents yeah, actually i don't think that is exactly what's happening should not have gone with the ulti crits and ulti damage and these fights would last so long would have scaled into oblivion into infinitum uh four armor i would say safety first as always 300 max i have 10,000 max life man Heal 3D, health, and one armor every... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this. 3D, health, and one strength every fight. Although 3D health is a joke, of course. But let's do that. Is this guy... Oh, this guy is also surviving. Nice. Uh, does everybody have armor? No, he has dodge and health regen. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I have to pick up a phone. That's really bad right now. I can't really do anything about this. Uh, wait a moment. I'm gonna win this fight. We're gonna go over there and do that. Okay, we won this fight. And let's, let me pick up the phone. I'm gonna pick, let's see what we're gonna get. I would say 7% attack speed, 7% luck, to be honest. Crits at this point is through the roof anyway. Yeah, let's go attack speed and luck. I don't even need to think about this. And we got more money. And what is this? Don't tell me I'm gonna lose my attack speed and luck. That's what I'm gonna say. I think I lost my attack speed and luck. Um, your next perk gains a duplicate destroyed after triggered. What? So did I lose the luck? No, I didn't. Let's go. I didn't even know that's a thing. Awesome. Or did I? I don't know. Three genies give you a wish. That's what we need to remember. So the next perk gains a duplicate. Uh, so I need to pay attention to what I'm going to pick next. That's nice. So three genies is actually really, really good to get because literally it gives you, well, it gives you 21% luck and 21% attack speed, but it also gives you a double relic on next pick. Okay, I mean, one second of stun. <laughs> no, I don't want one second of stun. Let's actually get something important. Uh, also roll away of these. This is very bad here. I'm just chance to talk. Brains, burn energy. Or wow. I guess brains give you the energy they burn. That's a bit disappointing. I'm gonna get 120 coins twice there, right? I don't know. Energy startup. I mean, this is literally 372. Uh, we're gonna get my money back. 
Black hole. I don't really want a black hole. Uh, 12 strength, but the vulnerable. No. Income. I should have rerolled here. Could I have rerolled the shop? Was that a choice? Anyway, we're gonna just buy everything. 25 income. This is not gonna pay for itself every any time. And I don't care about the black hole or the glass cannon. Maybe I should have rerolled the shop if I could have. Now this guy's a thorn build. It's not gonna do anything to us. We have 11,000 health. It's literally unable to do anything to us. It's gonna take us a while to get it down, but it's okay. So after tw battle 25 is when the quote-unquote hard opponents appear. Let's see what hard opponents are gonna be doing against 860 life. I would like to get some health regen. I don't want this guy's 99 points for sure. Of course not. Give me some health regen or give me two more milks, honestly. Just simple and clean. Two brains, that's nice. Or healing after six seconds. Now we're gonna go to brains. So points are not gonna be ulting and we're gonna be ulting a bit more. Uh, ulti gives us attack speed, might as well. I'm ulting more than once per fight. And uh, let's not forget that brains give us energy, so we're, we're gaining a bunch of energy. Um, yeah, I really hope these opponents are gonna be surviving, man. I really hope these opponents are gonna be surviving. 200 health regen. I mean, they're doing their best. We're getting about 1000 health regen per second here. I don't think anybody can even do 1000 damage per second in this game. We won. I like I like the sword being blinking whenever we get that. Oh, vampire steal three more life. That's a definite yes. And 120 coins. And now we're gonna scale even faster than we previously did. We have a decent amount of vampires, and we're about to hit a thousand. Very nice. This is the craziest health region I've ever seen ever. And we actually were easily able to get it a thousand health region. Very very nice. Uh, trash talk when you shoot an emoji. No, we're gonna go with ultimates. 200 ultimate damage, and here we can go with Drooling Face for an Ice or Armor. I'm gonna say Drooling Face for an Ice, and the idea here being that uh, Ice gives us health amplification, and health amplification makes all of these milks we have heal us actually 34. You see all of those 34s, 35s, 34s, 37s? That's the from the deep. Yeah, this guy has 200 healing, it's not enough. And uh, we still got him. And I'm ulting pretty often lately. So at this point, 1,000 healing per second. Very nice. Crash talk. No low life energy region. That's completely useless. Let's go with crit chance. I'm about to hit 100% crit chance, by the way. I think I'm barely not going to be able to. All my attacks are crits. I'm seeing a bunch of nines. Why are you, what are these nines, 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 nines? Are these the vampires? Can the vampires crit? I thought the vampires were supposed to be doing 6 damage anyway. So how do they crit for 9? And I'm at 1,200 healing here. 85% crit chance. I'm, I'm making more when I steal luck away. I'm gonna say attack speed. I definitely don't want the poison with the vampires because that's gonna make the fight last very little. I don't want the fight to last a lot. And uh, here we have 655. So healing more choices, more dodge. Okay, these are bad. Let's roll the shop. One more milk, more attack speed. Get into an armor but lose 500 health. No. Um, ultimates heal us. And I guess money on whatever. Let's go. So this guy has no scaling, so we're gonna win. So he does elbow attacks, deal one point, uh, deal 400 damage and apply two vulnerable and stuns. Oh, he does actually apply vulnerable to us and gain two flexes. Oh, he's gonna start scaling flexes. Let's see how this fight's gonna go. Let's see how this fight's gonna go. Now he's gonna be gaining flex. No, he just gained the flexes from the start of the fight. So he has four flexes. That's not gonna be enough, man. He is applying a bunch of vulnerable to us, but I'm also healing. And uh, he has not yet brought us below any point of life, to be honest. I'm gonna even hit 20,000 health the way this is going. Uh, maybe I'm not, because he's dying a bit too fast. Uh, maybe I am. 20,000 health, come on, boom. No, yay! 20,000 health, 1,322 health region. Easiest fight of my life. Easy, very easy. And we got 65 coins. Uh, now, what else could we run with this? Let me actually go through these and think about an idea as to a unique thing. I mean, you know what? We could do an axe build that I've never done. When an axe hits, increase axe base damage by one and somehow try to get axes on the base character. Uh, let's try to do that. I haven't done a run with the base character a long while ago. So uh, let's go with Sift. And let's uh, go an axe build. We're fighting chat. I don't know. We're going to see what we're going to fight. Let's go Peru V. And uh, I would say we go with the axe build. So we're going to say axes, fling axe. No, axe, axes increase axe base damage by one. Let's go. So I don't have an axe, by the way. So I need to go into axes. Now the axe build needs you to have thorns. I need a lot of synergy to hit here. Otherwise, this build is not a thing. And uh, yeah, let's see how it's going to go. Let's see. Didn't find anything related. We found flexes give you vampires. I guess ultimates give you energy for the next ultimate. 
simple, clean, works, it's useful. If I can get that thing six times, then all my ultis are gonna shoot out ultis. Uh, which might help us or might not. We're gonna see. Maybe we're gonna go with all the spam ultis build on this character. Flexes shoot out flexes. We're gonna go with six thorns because the idea is an axe build. I know legendaries and whatnot, but we don't even have those things. And the reason why I'm going with uh, thorns is because we do know that there is a thorn thing. Uh, I would say let's go with this so that I maybe get one of the other combos going. So, <clears throat> we know that there is a thing that says your thorns shoot out axes. That's a thing that exists. So going into thorns early is a good idea to get that thing going. If I find it, that is. I found my first axe, very nice, which is going to be a 40 damage weapon, which every time it hits, it goes up by 1. So 40, 41, 42, 43. Now this is not permanent. It's per fight, and obviously it's a very small amount of damage. <clears throat> but it's going to combo into everything else we're going to get axe related. Attack speed is nice as always. Uh, flexes give you permanent strength. Now we're going to go attack speed here. Simple, clean. Uh, what did we find here? We found health region. Oh, and we found rush perks last a bit longer. Ultimate does more damage, but you lose energy region. Honestly, no. I would say we just go with the health region and maybe the attack speed on ulti. Yeah, let's go with health region and let's also get attack speed on ultimate use. And maybe if I'm gonna get some ultimate use out of this, we're gonna be good to go. Here I'm not gonna go with the pool relic, as most of the time it doesn't really help. The axes are doing more and more damage, of course. Uh, getting two or three axes is what makes the most difference in general. Uh, if I get like four axes, I think that's the golden ratio. He's thinking about dying. We're gonna say a good old, of course not. And they are actually now dying. Hey, hey, neat. Back to out. Boom. And we found whenever you gain thorns, gain strength or gain eight armor. Honestly, I mean, I'm gonna go into thorns is the thing, but I will go into thorns. But the thing is, I don't really think I want this. I think I want the eight armor straight up. Although the lobster relic combo is nice. Not being able to read that is not really that nice. Ooh, I think 8 armor straight up. Maybe I'm even gonna get the apple phone later. So both of these combo into other relics, which those relics are found based on events, so we can't really control. Rush healing in the early game could save us. Honestly, 80 healing is a lot for 3 seconds especially. Uh, other, this is like health, if you think about it. It's as if it gives you 80 times 3. That's 240 health. I mean, 300 max health would be better than this. Healing, and nah, I'm gonna roll actually away from these. Okay, we found health based on how much strength you have, or one thorn after every fight. I would say one thorn after every fight, although this is a lot of health in general. This is three times, this is like 450 something else. I'm gonna go one thorn after each fight, because that's like 24 thorns right there. And uh, thorns are doing damage to the opponent. If I can apply vulnerable to the opponent, then the thorns are gonna be doing even more damage. Just to be clear about that. Let's start scaling thorns. And we found an axe, or axe do more damage. I would say we get an axe, although this is gonna double the damage of this axe. So this is better than that. Yeah, I mean, this is better. This is literally... you. I prefer throwing one axe that does 80 damage than two axes that do 40. Although this is going to scale them faster. Is this also going to scale them faster? Let's see. Now they're going to have 80 base damage. Are they going to instantly go up to... 40... Yeah, it's just double damage. Okay, so obviously the choice I made is better. Because now this does 80, 82, 84. And now they're in damage or a bunch of health. I guess not 100% damage, so now they do 3 times damage, I would assume, and not 4 times. Here I want to always, always, always pick the legendary, although if I can get the the shoe, attack speed on the axe throwing, get the legendary, man, just get the legendary, that's the most money you make. So now the axes start, they are 3 times damage. 935, nice, I'm taking all of damage, I would like to get thorns to reflect axes, no 2 stones. Healing gives you flexes. I don't really have healing. I mean, I have 12T, but that's not enough. Why do I have 20 healing? Because of this. Yeah, income or stones. By the way, because I have percentage-based healing, I should have gone with the max health that appeared twice. Two rocks is damage. Ah, this is money, actually. I I'm getting the money. 120 coins and damage is nice. Thorns are going to be an issue. If an opponent has thorns, we're going to die. Uh, but if the axe can do like 135,000 damage, we're going to be good to go. Please give me thorns reflect axes, please. Bumpers are good. Emergency energy. I mean, might as well. Low life starts shooting energy. All these out. Spending money gives you uh, strength. And uh, health regen. And what is this? Brains new. No. I would say I get one. This is going to pay for itself, by the way. So this is a definite buy if I could buy it. So I'm going to buy this to gain strength, is what I would say. And this. 
So these two together are about 180 and then this also comes in. So we're going to buy this first and then this and just in case. And let's also make income, which is going to pay for itself in the shop after the next shop. Now this guy here, the more attacks you have, the worse it is because he scales based on how much armor he blocks and he has 10 armor. So all of these attacks attacking is, are bad. Yep, but uh, my low life energy ultimates. Let's go and we won. Very nice. Almost lost, but we won. Uh, we're not gonna get his relic. We're gonna go with an of course not. Give me two axes, please. Two axes would be the best case scenario here. Nope, two vampires. That is also nice. Steal uh, things from the opponents. That's also very busted. But I'm gonna just go with the two vampires. We need to scale some health here. So the earlier I get the vampires, the better. It's not the earliest possible, but it's pretty early. Crit chance. I'm gonna say yes to the crit chance. That's 20. 19% uh, crit chance, plus whatever luck I have. That's a decently powerful boost on us. And now we're going to start scaling health. Very slowly, of course, but still, scaling is scaling. Uh, 5 crit chance right now. Your stones do more damage. I'm going to say your stones do more damage, as I have a lot of stones. And they're pretty much a big hit damage build here. I'm just going to be smacking the opponents. I would like to get some strength scaling, like the car thing that gives us, uh, at this point, 17 strength. Nope. Axes shoot ice. I guess I'm supposed to be an axe build if I find more axe related things. 200 max health or 3 crit chance. I would say 200 max health. I think it's better to survive than to destroy the opponents. And I will bet crit chance anyway. This guy's dodge. And he's bombing us. We don't have that much energy regen is what I'm seeing. All opponents have brains. And I found the thing I wanted. So, oh, by the way, I also found the other thing I wanted. But this is the more important one. So, after dealing 3D, dam dam 3D thorns damage, launch an axe. And that means after every, I mean, in a moment, we're going to have 15 thorns. And that's going to mean every two attacks I take, I launch back an axe. And the axes do like 120 damage. So you're going to see us now playing axes like crazy. Yeah, now, now you see how many axes we flung by seeing. Uh, if you just add, first of all, we can see it here. Uh, now we can see it. Uh, I don't think it's visible somehow. Uh, max health based on how much strength you have. Definite take. Now, if you see how much damage the axes have, that's how you know. And I found the combo relic, which I was literally aligning the build up for. So let's get that. Which is now, instead of gaining 3 vulnerable, we just gain 800 health and 2 ice. And ices have a chance to shoot out axes, so that's nice. Luck, but lose, uh, get less traces. No. Thorn block is a definite yes. I think I made a mistake by combining those. Actually, the max life is so good. I'm going to go with the thorn block here because it's important to not die from thorns. And uh, let's go. 3% thorn lock is decent enough. So now this guy has too many attacks for his own good. Yeah, look at this. The axe damage indicates how many axes are applying. Whatever this number is, minus 40 is how many axes I threw out. And he's gone. And he's gone. Give me two axes. Nice. I got two axes. And maybe for the first time ever, I'm going to get the jar combo, which I've never, ever, ever done before. Six thorns straight up or just even more strength based on money spent. I mean, I would say thorns straight up. The more thorns we reflect, the more axes we fling. And the more axes we fling, the faster opponents go down. If I can get 60 thorns, for example, one hit of the opponent, they're going to fling two axes back. Another axe. And the build is coming together, boys. The build is coming together. Previous build was the crazy regen build. Now we got the crazy damage build. Yeah, and I'm doing 200% more damage with those. Healing increases flexes. No brain, so opponents don't really do anything to us. I'm gonna roll away from those. I don't think opponents are gonna be fast enough at ulting us. Let's get a fl let's get attack speed on ulti use. Six strength or health regen? I would say health. Actually, six strength is twelve health. Yeah, twelve times six. That's about eighty health. And and strength in itself. And my rocks do more damage based on strength. So let's go strength, which gives us max health. And max health is a regen anyway, so everything combos into everything. Okay, flexes or brain or emoji heals us. I guess emojis heal us. Because the more the opponents attack us, the more we reflect back. So as long as opponents are attacking us with a lot, we're gonna melt. Eh, does that even compute? I'm not really sure if that as an idea computes. Healing more, money more. A rush gain strength at the beginning. I mean, I'm literally destroying the opponents at the beginning. Uh, I would say income. That's like 100 coins. Very low money though. Now that I think about this. Apply vulnerable is nice. 3 damage. Heal a thousand. Gain attacks but lose luck. No. Heal a thousand so I don't randomly die from a burst. I enjoy this as an idea. And energy regen. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't really care about the opponents being vulnerable. So this guy is really, really, really good against us. <clears throat> because he only has one rock and a bunch of flexes. 
he's just hitting us for a bunch of damage. But we have four axes, so we're scaling damage too. Yeah, but look at this 100 damage axes here. Oh, it's a race, and we won. Very nice. Explode, my boy. And give me another healing after uh, six seconds. Now we're gonna go 25% attack speed. Helps with literally everything we have. Let's see what we get. Um, we actually do even more. Actually, we shoot out more axes. We're gonna go with we shoot out more axes. So we're gonna be flinging two axes at this point every time we get attacked. So when they attack us once, they get 30 throwing damage and two axes to the face. So now you see the melt. Jump gone. That's what's gonna be happening. They attack us once, they hit back twice. They attack us 10 times, we hit them back four time, 40 times. Uh, 20 times, I guess. Start up, start with energy, might as well. And that's also money. Let's go. You attack us with all of these, you're gone. And you can see how many axes we fling by seeing, once again, the number on the axe there. Rush relics last longer, who cares? Vampires poison the opponent. Mm, I guess vampires poison the opponent. Healing flexes you is a bit irrelevant. The opponents are not going to survive long enough for us to even flex. Uh, gain max health and strength every fight. That's really good. Strength gives us also more max health. He's gone. Next. I mean, literally, thorns are the only thing that can kill us, but we have 3% thorn blocks, so I don't think that can either. This is 6 strength throughout the game. I'm going to go with 6 strength throughout the game. We have energy, and what are you going to do? You're going to die. That's what you're going to do. The more rocks you have, the worse it is for you, man. The more you have, the worse it is. Start with crit chance or gain 5 crit chance. I mean, the fight lasts this amount, so let's get the 10% crit chance. Relax to shoot vampires, that's useless. Another 3D thorn block. I'm going to reroll away. I, I don't think these are worth it. I mean, the only thing that matters is this and this. So I don't think I want to buy these two. I could also go with Dark Duel. Honestly, Dark Duel could give us some crazy legendaries. Like another Axe Overfling or another Energize. Or, uh, I mean, theoretically, I can only get one thing from that. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're going to roll away. Okay, this is worse. 24% uh, attack speed is a yes. Opponents take 3 more damage is also a yes. Actually, 3 more damage with 10 more strength. I mean, 10 more strength is a lot of damage through the rocks. 3 more damage is a lot more damage on everything. I'm flinging so many axes, we're going to go with 3 more damage. Let's go. He has too many stones, he's gone. Whoa, look at my axes, 220 damage. He made such a huge mistake. Uh, this is the weakest enemy for us. Ultimates give us 200 or armor 8. I would say ultimates give us 200. I already have the apple, right? Yeah, so I can get the event anyway. Right now I have ultimates gives us... If I take that 350 energy and I already start with 300 energy. So I would say, yeah, let's go with ultimates give us... I don't think I'm dying anyway. Like opponents, if opponents attack us too fast, they die. Another axe. There is no issue with being afraid of dying. We are definitely outbursting everybody here. It's like we get hit a bit and then drop dead. Another axe. Let's go. Yeah, they hit us. Drop, and then boom, they're down. It's it's always we are a smidge faster than what they are. Uh, rush terms and attack speed. I mean, might as well. The fights don't last more than three seconds. Uh, 3D health region but lose energy region. 5 armor and gain 1 vulnerable or 8 income. Let's get 5 armor and 1 vulnerable. Let's go. And they're gone. And they're gone. So 5 armor and 1 vulnerable means we take 5 less damage from everything but 1 more damage from anything that's not everything. I mean for 5 more da 5 less damage from attacks but 1 more damage from everything else that's on attack. This is 2 thorns. We're gonna go with ultimates give us 150 back. So right now my ultimates give us 500 ultimate back. I'm not gonna ulti, man. The fight's gonna end with us flinging axes. Rush dodge, so we don't die in the 15, first 15 seconds. No, that's stupid, because I need the thorns to reflect. We're gonna just go with health regen, so I somehow survive. And six more thorns. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Six more thorns, and chance to launch a rock when anybody hits us. That's it. Let's win. Chad has 10 rocks. That's his downfall. Oh, I'm dying. I don't think I can read this. I'm, I, I lost. Ultimate... Oh, yeah, we lost. Oh, I healed a thousand. We lost. I I, I cannot beat this. He has... Uh, he has... Uh, yeah, we, it's, it's unbeatable. This is literally unbeatable. Unless I get Thorn Block right here, which I don't think this character even has access to. This is a lot of money. Let's see what the shop's gonna give us. More damage. Uh, dodge ultis. Brains extra damage. Uh, brains. Another rock. I'm trying to just spend my money, actually. Want another rock? I don't think I want another rock because this guy's spikes. I just want more strength. And more strength means more starting health. And more starting health means more regen. 
Let's see if that's enough. Axes go. Axes go. No, we died. Oh, I thought no, no, we died. I cannot beat this. This is unbeatable. I should have gone with the ten, with the eight armor over. What did I go with? I don't even know what I went with instead of the eight armor. The ultimate shoot. I think I went with this stupid thing. Yeah, eight armor would have would it made a difference though? Because we're dying from spikes right now. Can I find the thorn block? If I find the thorn block, that's the winning strat. This is what the shop was selling. I definitely need this. Now the shop. Uh, emergency healing. That might somehow save us. And five strength gives us max life. So that might also somehow save us. Or block one ulti. How would that even save us? He's going to destroy us. We're dying from spikes. Five strength is more life. Maybe dodging could save us. Let's try this again. By the way, once again, we're dying from the opponents having six thorns. No, nope, ulti him. Ulti him again. We get the thousand healing. And he ulted us and we die. I don't think we can beat this guy. It was a nice run, but this boss was maybe the worst possible boss we could have fought. I told you we're gonna die from thorns. <laughs> I told you so. Let's see if I can reroll the shop one more time. So we're gonna go emergency healing here, and the shop's gonna be... Health regen percentage based might save us. Crits might kill him fast enough. Like, buy these two and hope for the best. Definitely buy this for the health regen, and definitely buy this for the combo. So attacks with the crit chance. Maybe the crits are gonna be enough. I, I wouldn't really hope. So I, I don't really think that's gonna be the case. Health region. We, we get a lot of health region here, but it's not enough still. He's gonna ulti us. We're, we're dying from thorns, man. His ulti is a, bo a plus. We're dying from thorns. He doesn't even do, need to do anything. Yeah, enemy damage. 800. Oh, actually, we don't die from thorns. We're dying from his crits. Uh-huh. Wait, doesn't that mean that I can somehow survive with dodge? 15% dodge for the first seconds? And then just all of this. Oh, wow. First time I'm finding that. Nice. I've never ever fought that before. Let's actually get what this is. Two axes and that becomes two axes and 12 strength. Which is more max life. And more max life means more healing. And more crits. And poison the opponent with the vampires we have. This here should block the opponent's ulti and not mine. I might take that the next fight. Let's see how this is going to go. If I'm not gonna win this, then we're gonna see. So I'm, I'm right now. I'm surviving with a dodge. Okay, so I will try to block his ulti to see if that makes a difference. But this is pretty much the last case here. So we're gonna go with a dodge, which did actually save us a lot in the beginning. And this time we're gonna go with not the crit. We're gonna definitely go with the poison, a healing. This thing for sure. Combo them. Nice. And we're gonna go. His ulti is gonna be blocked. And between these two, I would like... To, crit chance actually is more damage. Yeah, crit chance is more damage than the vampire's poison. And let's see if blocking his ulti is going to be enough to actually win. Uh, I have poison on the vampire thing anyway, it seems like. And he's going to ulti here, and it's going to be drained. My ulti also got drained. Uh, no, we're dying, man. We're dying, we're dying. He's doing too much damage to us. We don't have any healing. We don't have any lifesteal. That's it. I don't think this is possible to be beaten. Literally. I guess reflecting stones maybe somehow, but it definitely not enough. Take this. Uh, definitely need the black hole, by the way. Also this. Combo those. Yep, that's max life. Black hole and more crits. Poison is definitely not making a difference. Once again, you can also see how many axes we fling, right? It's We fling about 50 axes. And we heal here. Black hole drops his ultimate. We ulti again. Un unbeatable. Not, not beatable with this build. I don't think I had enough life. I should have gone with armor. Although with his crits, that does not really make a difference. I tried my best. Hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, it's not like I had the best character in the game. But anyway, I, I really enjoyed the run. The, the run was fun. I was bestrewing everybody other than the opponents having too much life and me not being able to heal. I mainly enjoyed the max life health build. So, do you want to see mods? Because if you want to see mods, then hopefully people are going to start creating mods. Right now, there are about, I would say, five to six good mods. Uh, I guess mod characters. Mods mean characters. Do you want to see mod characters? I definitely am thinking about doing that. Uh, so, because the playability is going to go through the roof. And until I get through the five or six modded characters, which is going to be one week, uh, we're going to get more modded characters. So, this is literally infinite replayability here. So, do you want to see that? If yes, come down below, and then the game is going to go off. By the way, mods do not mean the game is super broken, everything is busted. No, no, no. Mods mean 
a completely different character idea with a completely different set of things that don't exist in the game normally. So it's it's going to be extremely unique runs. Like there's a character that attacks with thorns. There's a character that attacks with energy regen. There's a character that has just a bunch of armor or whatever. So it's just going to be very, very unique stuff. Hope you guys want to see that. Uh, I'm going to do that next run. If people don't enjoy that, I'm going to stop doing that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.